So here's our discussion of coupling alignment. You'll need a couple of tools. First, a wrench that fits the, the uh, bolts in your uh, coupling halves, holding your coupling halves together. And here's what we're referring to when we're talking about the coupling halves, right here. One's on your prop shaft, the other's on the back of your transmission. And you'll also need a feeler gauge. First thing we said that we need to do is check the condition of the engine mounts. The engine mounts have rubber bonded to two pieces of metal. And so one set of bolts uh, on one side of the, of the uh, rubber uh, attaches uh, a plate bonded to that rubber to the engine mount. And then there's a piece of, rubber, a piece of, pl of metal you can't see bonded to this. But, it, but the, uh, uh, this other plate is bonded to this metal and there are bolts that hold it in place to the engine. So you want to check the condition of those. That's obviously a fairly new mount. This one up here has been around a while because it's actually had time to get painted. All right, so once we've done that, once we've checked our mounts, uh, we really want to do this procedure in the water. So let's assume that our mounts are okay. We didn't have to replace any, which would really need to be done on land. And uh, we're going to remove three of the four bolts in the coupling half. And we're going to leave one bolt actually quite loose on the coupling half. And I already have a hint that I've got, a, I've got an alignment problem. The reason I have a hint is my feeler gauge goes, it's not a hint, it's evidence. Uh, my feeler gauge goes between the two coupling halves quite easily uh, down low and also uh, on the sides. But I cannot get the feeler gauge between the two coupling halves at all uh, up on the top. The feeler gauge will not go. So it's not important uh, how many... Uh, what the thickness of your feeler gauge is, or how many how many blades you've stacked up to find that space. You want the space to be equal uh, all the way around the coupling hub. That's the key. So in this case, we're tight at the top, and we have space at the bottom. So we need to lower the front of the engine, or else raise the back of the engine. Whichever we choose to do, there are wedges in place under the engine mounts that we accomplish this with. So let's say we want to raise the back of the engine. Uh, I, we would loosen the bolts here, these lag bolts, and we would then loosen these screws and drive the wedge in a direction that will raise the engine in back. Uh, if we wanted to lower the front of the engine, we just do the opposite. We would drive the wedge forward and that would lower the front of the engine. How would I decide whether I want to raise the engine or lower the engine? Raise it lower it in back or raise it in front. Uh, I want to make sure I keep this shaft somewhat close to centered in the shaft log. And I do not want this shaft to touch the shaft log at any point in time because it will actually wear a notch in it. So if you have any questions, just give us a call here at Woody's Restorations, 270-343-5007, and we'll help step you through the process.